What's going on, Bulls fans? Welcome to another episode of Chicago Bulls Central. I'm your host, Hayes, and no no preseason game, no new preseason games have happened to talk about on this episode. So we're going to talk about a couple of things, right? Uh, we're going to talk about Patrick Williams, we're going to talk about Alizé Johnson and what his role may be coming into the incoming season. Uh, we'll also be talking about, you know, a preview of the preseason game and the matchups that we can see there, especially since Patrick Williams Maybe playing some that that game, uh, and I guess that's what we'll jump into first. Is Patrick Williams, who's participated in five on five in practice, uh, Coach Billy Donovan said that they're going to monitor how he how his body responds before making a decision on the final preseason game. But this is just good news overall, right? Because this means that if he's already at this point now, as long as his body responds well, even if he only plays a couple of minutes um, during the last preseason game, maybe a couple minutes. Uh, you know, a 15 minute stretch or whatever over the course of the game in the first couple of regular season games, we're working more towards having Patrick Williams back in that starting lineup and having him on the court is going to do so much for our defense. And, you know, the fact that he he's at this point already when, you know, at the high end of that injury, it was expected that he may it may go into the season of him missing a week or so of the season. This is all good things. We want the Bulls at full power as soon as possible so that we can continue to build that chemistry and really see what we have on the court. Now, the Bulls have looked really good. Um, overall, you know, we know that last preseason game was a little bit harder for them, but they've looked really good overall in the preseason. That's without their best defender, right? The one player on this team who could defend probably any position depending on the night. So, Having Patrick Williams come come back is going to be it's going to definitely bode well uh, for for the bull season and the outlook. And we want to get him back as soon as possible. Uh, let me know down below how many minutes that you expect Patrick Williams to play in his first game back. That means even if it's not this this last preseason game, but in his first game back, like I said, I expect for him to probably play about 15, uh, 20 minutes. I don't think they're going to rush him back to having his full uh, minutes capacity right away just to make sure that his body is responding well, because we have aspirations this season. And as we know with teams that do that have aspirations they tend to make sure that their players get more time uh to rest before they just throw them back in there so let me know i'm i'm sure patrick williams is dying to get back on the court um and especially like what he showed in summer league and just how he's talked uh leading up to the season we know it's going to be a big season for patrick williams um especially because you know he's our best defender so uh there you go with that now the next thing that i wanted to talk about is alizé johnson and you know, this was a player that when the Bulls signed and I dropped the episode when they announced his signing that I was I I didn't know really what to expect. Right. I didn't watch a lot of him playing outside of the Bulls, but his energy, his energy specifically on the boards and just the fact that every playoff team right needs that player that's just going to do work. Right. Just just going to come in that maybe on certain nights can can lift you up with some scoring. But. Overall, that energy is what keeps them in the game. That energy is what makes them such a great complement to what goes on in this team. And Alizé Johnson, like, I know he's been playing some backup center. Imagine when he moves to the four. And then I even think he could play some three if needed. Like, Alizé Johnson is in a great position to where, you know, him playing with his energy, him playing smart with the ball, if he does add scoring to that, he's going to always find a way to get on the court. And I love having a player like this. And I know, like, we, we talk a lot about Alex Caruso, and Alex Caruso is a Chicago player, right? He's the type of player we love here in Chicago, but Alizé Johnson is that as well. Alizé is just like, and I, I don't want to overhype it, right, and act like he's like a borderline starter or anything like that. He may end up developing into that, but just right now and what he is right now, the energy and the fact that he's so frustrating for teams on the boards and everything like that, he's going to get us extra possessions. He's going to get us um, uh, baskets in transition. He's even shown some decent passing. Alizé Johnson has really shown me a lot. He's probably one of the players I've walked away impressed with the most um, from this preseason because, you know, we expected Levine, uh, Lonzo, and everything. Like, we expected them to be great. Alizé Johnson was a complete unknown, at least for me. Like I said, if you guys watch more Nets basketball, seen him more, hats off to you. But I, I really didn't. So, you know, I'm happy to have him on this team um, and – I really think especially as we go closer to well, that we're expected to be a playoff team. And as we go deeper into the playoffs, if that ends up being what we have, Alizé is going to be one of those players that's going to be key every night for his energy alone. But, you know, let me know what you guys think about Alizé Johnson. If maybe you feel like I'm overhyping him, but I really think the kid is he's going to be good for this team. Now, one of the last things that I want to talk about before we go for today is the Bulls upcoming last preseason game against the Memphis Grizzlies. and. While I'm so why I'm so excited about this game. First off, it has the potential to be 
the best out the bunch, right? The most competition for the Bulls and the way that everything matches up. And the way that the reason why I say potentially is because it is the last preseason game, right? Before we head into the start of the season. So I don't know if if starters are going to have less minutes or more like their regular season minutes um, coming into this game. So it really depends on what Billy Donovan wants to do. If he doesn't want to risk injury, we may see more of our rotational players, which I, I will still be excited for that to see what we have on this bench, um, more so than our starters playing 30 minutes again. But let's just say, all in all, they are going to play the starters um, considerable minutes. We are going to be matching up against John Morant, who's one of the most exciting players in the NBA right now, right? Um, a young point guard, to see him match up against Lonzo Ball and what that's going to be like um, is going to be exciting for me. Like to see Lonzo against uh, elite level uh, point guard um, competition and what he's able to do defensively, I, I just, I'm excited for that. As well as uh, Jared Jackson Jr. And, you know, he's an exciting young player as well. But the but the Grizzlies are also projected to be a really good team this season. And, you know, and when we talk about we played against like, the Pelicans B team, uh, we played against the Cleveland Cavaliers who aren't really projected to be that good this season. You know, you want to see team, uh, your team against elite competition and like this Memphis Grizzlies game has the potential to be that. And that's why I'm excited for this game. Uh, I really do think it has the potential to be a nail biter in the preseason, but ultimately just to see what the, what our team looks like matched up against another really good team. Um, and, you know, keys for this game. I, I I'm not an analyst, so I don't really, you know, get down into the nitty gritty. But like I said, Lonzo, what he does, um, you know, Patrick Williams, of course, if he comes back. But overall, it's just what this team is going to look like against another fairly young team. Um, and, and, you know, they're two main players and just just has the potential to be an exciting game. Let me know what you guys, uh, what your expectations are and how your excitement level for this last preseason game against the Memphis Grizzlies. What do you think? Are you think the Bulls going to be able to pull it out? Do you think John Moran's going to put it on the show? Let me know. And then, like, I know, I know John Moran is going to be guarded by Lonzo Ball, but, like, in the sense of that scoring, like that tit-for-tat scoring, Zach Levine and John Morant in a battle of of scoring down the stretch. Like, I, I know I'm adding some dramaticism to it that we don't even know if it's going to, for all we know, it could be a blowout on either team side. But i just really excited to see what the Bulls can do and will do against a team like uh, the Memphis Grizzlies. But, you know, that's pretty much all I got for you guys this week is just, you know, eyes and ends uh, looking. I'd like to check in with you guys in the middle of the week. You know, we don't get that Bulls game till Friday. Um, I'll, I'll try to get an episode up right after the game um, that same night uh, rather than wait until Saturday morning. So be on the lookout for that. And then over the course between now and the start of the regular season, I'll be going back to doing my player profiles and what I expect them to be able to give, uh, especially now that we've actually seen them play. Right. So I'll probably revamp. I may even redo a couple of the ones that I did now that we've been able to see those roles kind of a little bit more. But we are gearing up for one of the most exciting seasons uh as Bulls fans in a long time. And like I said, born and raised Chicago Bulls fan um, since the 80s. I was born in 86. So really since the 90s, as far as when I've been aware, I've been a Bulls fan. And there's been so many ups and downs. Um, this is the most excited I've been for a very long time for the Chicago Bulls. And, you know, I know that is echoed out throughout the fandom as well. But like I like to end every one of these shows on is go Bulls. I love you guys. Peace. This has been a presentation of the Break Break Media. Media. Media.